cats are really nocturnal so you would have to stay in the cage during the day and have its own room with the door shut the big 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 giant room I call the master's bedroom um, it's already toilet trained it's a rescued cat it's already vaccinated oh what's my hammy doing now he's taken an interest in the chewing in gnawing these oh no he's got his back to it that's his backside he's actually eating the food inside the plastic container Zumba Zumba Zumba. Ah. Pip is still hiding, very shy, reserved. I can hear Pip. He's emerg emerging slowly. I'm going to close the gate in a minute. Video twenty nine minutes. Oh no. That wasn't Pip, this is super speedy. It's super speedy, what's his name? Zuba came to see Pip. So, so fast. Also, the Pip is the albino, he has red eyes, definitely. It's so cute. Uh, this is a special occasion. I have the lights on, but it's actually not good for them to, to be looking at the light too much and stare at it. It can make them go blind. That's right, it will make you go blind. <laughs> Pippi said, Did you say I was shy? I am not shy. And I am not silly. No, no, no. I'm thinking about going inside the tube. <laughs> it starts from one end and it comes out the other. It's fascinating for me. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> so Pip is just normal in behaviour. He's as a scavenger going around the place over the uh, stainless steel tube to cover the plastic bar uh, he's gonna play with a rattle oh he's going into the goal goal <sighs> shredded paper I think he wants to try the challenge to, to climb, to go where no one else will boldly go and do a respectful copycat of, or copy, copy rat as big as a cat. However, he may decide to use the opposite path because they, they mark their territories like a cat, really. A cat does it with urine, it has a unique perfume, they also have scent glands, hamsters, and they have scent, smell that has unique signature, uh, same as a human fingerprint. Oh, he's emerging. <sighs> Hasn't decided to go or not to go. That is the question. <laughs> T 
plenty of time to decide. To meet again. Oh, it looks like they've swapped, having a little petty fight about de demasculinization and territory, which is natural in humans and animals. But uh, the only difference is that humans know when to stop, and enough is enough, or they should do. Or they kill each other the same as animals kill each other. Well, I'm just about to close this gate now. It looks like somebody's going to come into the food top. Mm, perhaps I'll give them ten seconds. <sighs> Yawn. Nope, no one's coming out. <laughs> so Pip is a wood colour, sand colour, similar to that starfish colour. Here's a star. You're a star, Pip. Okay, Pip has gone to an adventure, he's found a new place. But it looks like the first one that's exploring is going to explore the pipe. The cardboard pipe is probably Zuba. Because Zuba is less frightened. He is more fearless, more courageous. Uh, compared to Pip. Uh, in some cases, bravery is dumb. Not in most cases. In most cases, being brave is a clever thing. Um, as long as they learn how to communicate and meet occasionally and make them supervised in normally in a cardboard box where I have a glove on if there is a fight. But it's, it's just good to keep in touch as they are sociable and they only come together to mate but uh, also they live together in numbers so females together and males together it's normal and natural to to do so Zuba is inside the food dish. So there's two food dishes. One there and the other one is in the blue blue box. Is he civilized or uncivilized? It's like drinking from a river with a cup or with a hand. He chose the ladder rather than to jump off. <laughs> Is that... Be 
becoming more active now. It's a very long tube. Take them a lifetime to chew and gnaw, nibble, nip. Um, so they had a squabble, and Pip is having a sulk. I was hoping to hold one and put put him up on the swing. Oh, I had a squibble again. So I'm hoping to separate them tomorrow. Because they're fighting and it is not clever. So one's showing fear and the other one... This is not good. Not good at all. I may have to separate them tonight and there's a box there just in case. So I know who's the dominant one. And uh, so I shall be putting Pip inside the smaller cage and keeping Zuba in this big cage. Here's the winner. And Pip is the loser. Okay. Not a good idea for me to put my hand in while they're biting each other. <sighs> I normally keep the light on or very dimmed light during the night. So I can see them. Just to make sure there's no spilling of blood. Just one more night and then I'm going to separate them. Because they're still little ones. Their teeth haven't are underdeveloped and their bodies are underdeveloped. They're still little ones so I think they'll be okay for just one more night. And I know in this fight who has won the battle? Ta-da! It's Zuba. Oh, Zuba. Zuba's now making a nest, making his bed and territory. So he's organizing things so he knows what is what. And again, this is normal behavior because that means they are happy. If they are in a corner or chuck gnawing the bars that means they're bored they're not happy um they feel that they're not having enough attention but like this they're happy oh look i have someone else having a drink This is Pip enjoying his drink. He, he feels nervous. He doesn't feel... Oh, I'm not surprised. He would be nervous and stressed. Stress is the number one killer for animals, definitely. This is a big cage, so he has plenty of space to escape in his food tub. <coughs> it's as if Zuba told him off for something. Maybe he said something bad about me, the giant. And Zuba told him off. Because Zuba sensed fear in him. Where's he gone? He's gone somewhere. P 
peekaboo. My little mouse needed to be cooled down. The big log flat plateau. Oh well. <laughs> He's hiding. That's the water. Inside an iron mesh. Inside an iron, um, solid frame that so the water doesn't go anywhere. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Uh oh, uh -oh. here comes trouble. It's like a horror film really for them because he obviously feels uh, that <sighs> Zuba has become ter territorial and predatory wants to eat him for dinner as they are cannibals they would eat each other and again, that's the difference between uh, humans, unless it is a human animal. So they're looking out for each other, being very sneaky. Maybe I could put the down light a little bit. It's not so bright then. Uh oh. Camouflage of your fluffy self on that tree. Camouflage yourself. <laughs> Clever clogs. <laughs> Azuba seems to be irritated because uh, it can sense fear. And him trying to escape and trying to hide. Because he knows that Zuba is the leader and the boss. However, their behaviour does temp change. As Zuba is showing mercy. He's not totally merciless. So I'm going to just let them play, close this thing now, and then by tomorrow morning I shall have moved my mug and put uh, the other cage up here in on the same place. This has wheels, so... It's a wheel. Oh, now it's just fallen. It's a wheel. Oh, hello, sweetie. You look like a teddy bear. I love you. I'll take care of you. You're going to go in the smaller one, okay? And then you'll swap. Oh, dear. What's going on? Are you fighting again? you got to learn to show mercy and share, okay? I don't want to see a dead hamster in the morning because of the change of environment. <laughs> That's the thing. 
That's what makes it dangerous. They're forming each other. Oh, sweetie. I'm just thinking of taking him out. He's a bit disorientated after a nip. Well, if I hear another squeak, there goes another squeak. I'm going to have to turn the camera off and separate them immediately. Mm, cannot stay in the cardboard box for over the night. He will make a hole in it and escape. So it'll have to be a plastic box. No peace for the wicked, but uh, I know they're not wicked. I know they're not wicked. And they came from a breeder that was three pounds more <laughs> healthier, <laughs> healthier breeder. <laughs>